What's up guys? Today we're going to record a short video tutorial to explain how to use a formula to easily create semicircular rotations or retrograde dials. Most often seen on faces for a battery arc or minutes. Basically anytime we have a hand that would normally travel 360 degrees or in a full circle around the face and we want to shorten that length. Um, as you can see on the face here we have two so that we can test the formula and make sure that it works as it should. We're going to start with the green here. We've made them battery meters but we're going to go ahead and test them with the seconds tag and I'll explain that here in a minute. The formula takes most of the guesswork out of it. Uh, as you can see on the screen, we have S, E for start and end, and 360 because normally the codes that we would be using would be for a full rotation. And then the rotational tag, which again can be BR for the battery rotation, DRSS for the seconds, etc. Basically any code that normally would be used to go in a full circle around the face we can use in this formula. So the formula it really is simple. For instance, we'll, we'll take the green hand here and we'll see that the start point is negative 40 degrees, or technically negative 40 doesn't exist. On a rotational but it's still going to work for this formula so bear with me so if the begin point is negative 40 and then we manually adjust it down to where the full point would be or the end and we've got 110 so we have negative 40 and 110 so now using this formula which is much easier to use if you just copy and paste we can paste it here and now adjust our values. Again, our start point was negative 40. So we will adjust both starts to negative 40. And the end point was 110. And then we will change the rotational tag. Even though it is a battery meter, we're going to change it to DRSS so that we can test it to make sure that it operates the way it should. And then while that is going, you can see it will stop when it is full and then jump back to zero. And that will let us know that it is operating the way it should. Just a few more seconds here. And then there we go. So now you know that from start to end, it is exactly what we need it to be. So now we know that we want that to be a battery meter, not a seconds meter. So we would just change the rotational tag to a BR for battery rotation. And that's it. It really is that simple once you have the formula prepped and ready to go. Again, we'll test that here. We know that the rotation for the blue hand, the Start point is 300, and the end point is 180. So again, using that same method, the start is 300, and the end is 180. Again, we're going to test that with the seconds and you can see here as the meter begins to fill we will go from the start to the end point and as the hand continues to fill as long as it stops where it's supposed to and then jumps back to the beginning we know that we can go in and adjust that to be whatever rotational formula we need in this case we're going to make it the phone battery meter Okay, we are almost done testing this one. As long as when it gets to the end point, it jumps back to where it needs to be. And 
perfect. So we know that that rotational value and formula is working perfectly. So we'll just go back in here and change the seconds to a phone battery rotation. And then we're good to go. Now we have a dual battery meter with a simple formula and that's that. It really, really is that easy so long as you're using that formula. As I've mentioned before, the formula may be a bit overkill for some instances. However, it does make it a really easy copy and paste formula that you can use for any semi-circular rotation. All right, happy building.